Oreos are a popular snack that are enjoyed worldwide. However, I have discovered an iceberg that lists many theories regarding Milk's favorite cookie, which I will be going over today. The number in the corner shows how confident I am about each entry. Part 1. The Surface Oreo Thins Oreo Thins exist. They are thin versions of normal Oreos, and they're actually pretty good. Double Stuff only has 1.5 times. A common piece of trivia most people have probably heard about Double Stuff Oreos is that they don't actually have double the stuff. However, they do have more than 1.5 times the filling, as an experiment determined that they actually have around 1.8 times the stuff of a normal Oreo. Oreo idea stolen from Hydrox. These actually existed four years before Oreos were a thing, but I guess Oreos tasted better. Lemon Meringue Oreos When Oreos first were created, there were two flavors, the regular chocolate Oreo and lemon meringue flavor. These were discontinued in the 1920s, although there is a lemon flavored Oreo that exists today. Not made with real cocoa. If we assume this entry is talking about cocoa, it doesn't really make much sense because Oreos are made with real cocoa. However, if it is actually referring to the coca plant used to make cocaine, then I don't understand why this entry is here, since Oreos obviously aren't made with the coca plant. Oreos are vegan. Oreos are vegan. Cookies and cream, ice cream flavored Oreo. <laughs> oh my god, why? Boycotted by homophobic organization. An anti-LGBTQ organization called One Million Moms threatened to boycott Oreos. Resealing bag never works. Oreos have this sticky thing you can use to just reseal the package, but it never works and after a day or two, the Oreos just get gross and soft. This has led many people to just eat the entire package in one sitting. No one eats the recommended serving size. The Oreo serving size is a measly three cookies. I have never met anyone who eats this little at a time. Stuff versus stuff Mandela effect. This actually is not due to the Mandela effect. There originally was a double stuffed Oreo spelled with two F's, but there was a malfunction at the factory that caused the stuffing to be filled with air and the Oreos turned out really gross. If you want to learn more about this, just look up Oreo inflation. Wanting to avoid association with the mishap, the company rebranded the extra filling Oreos to double stuff with one F. You can buy tubs of Oreo ice cream. They sell this in grocery stores. This isn't really a mystery. The White Stuff by Weird Al This is a song by Weird Al Yankovic in which he sings about Oreos, specifically the cream inside. Oreo Milk This refers to the dairy industry where some farmers have begun using Oreos instead of cows to produce milk. No one knows how Oreos are able to produce milk if they are dairy free. Watermelon Oreos Somehow this was a real product. I never had them, but it doesn't sound very appetizing. Something about a watermelon cookie just doesn't seem right. Part 3 Going Deeper The most stuff Oreo is real. Yep, this is a real product again. There doesn't seem to be any mystery surrounding it, it's real. I'm not sure why it's so far down on the list. The last Oreo is always cracked. This most likely refers to the fact that nobody wants to eat the cracked Oreos for some reason, so they are always left in the package until the very end. Veronia Bersama This was most likely the ancient Oreo cookie eaten by the Mayans. Ice cream milk made from Oreo This most likely refers to the earlier theory about dairy farmers making milk from Oreo cream. Birthday cake Oreos are not vegan. I'm pretty sure these actually are vegan since I used to know a guy who couldn't eat dairy but he ate these kind of Oreos and was fine. Lady Gaga Oreo What? No, dude! No! Oreos are as addictive as drugs. This is true. This may be related to the earlier entry that talks about how Oreos may or may not be made with coca. Part 4. Nearing the Bottom Java Chip Oreo runs Minecraft. Minecraft has a version called Minecraft Java Edition. This could be a connection to the Java Chip flavor of Oreos. Perhaps the Java engine secretly is just comprised of Oreo cookies and somehow Notch was able to code with them and made Minecraft. Oreo plus milk equals cancer. I am not really sure about this one. 
If this is saying that Oreos and milk together literally give you cancer, I don't think that this is true, considering that they are labeled as milk's favorite cookie. If this is saying that having an Oreo with milk would literally taste like a tumor, then that is up to your opinion, I guess. Personally, I really like Oreos and milk, but I don't know what cancer tastes like, so I don't know for sure. Satanic or Freemason imagery on Oreos The iceberg shows this image with a pentagram on the Oreo, but according to Snopes.com, which is a fact-checking website, this is false. Facts don't care about your feelings. The Pride Oreo is real. Again, this is another product that is real and has no real mystery surrounding it. I'm pretty sure this relates to the anti-LGBTQ organization theory from earlier. Ice cream made from Oreo milk is really just cookies and cream ice cream. This is not true. Cookies and cream ice cream would have to have chunks of cookie in them. A Wario apparition. <laughs> Copy of Minecraft and Java Chip has Hero Brian. This is not true. Ever since Minecraft Java Chip Edition 1.2.5, removed Hero Brian has been listed in the patch notes, making this impossible. Pattern on Oreo becomes more detailed the closer you look. This is true. Patterns on Oreos are actually fractals, which are infinite patterns. If you stare at the Oreo for long enough, you will eventually enter the quantum realm, and you will be trapped there until someone eats the Oreo. Cream-only eaters have a cult where they sacrifice cookie-only eaters. This is not true. The cream god does not want disgusting cookie eaters to be sacrificed. We send the cookie eaters to Camp Funtime. The 14th Factory It is widely known that Oreo divides its production into 13 factories. However, a lesser known fact is that there is actually a 14th factory that Part 5. The Bottom Nabisco sues me over this meme. This is unlikely, since I didn't actually make the chart. It's more likely that the guy who made this image will get sued. Every Oreo is personalized. Every Oreo is personalized, because every Oreo is made with love. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more content like this, subscribe and like the video. I apologize for the change in narrator, but the main guy went on vacation. So I'll be doing the narration for the foreseeable future. Goodbye.